Hi, this is April Van Buren, and I want to show you how to use ClassFlow to upload and transform your old smart notebook lessons. So we're going to start with, I've already logged in as a teacher, and I can show you how to do that at another time. But we're going to click on the Resources tab, and I'm going to click New. And I'm going to upload a file. And I have a smart notebook file on here, maker of the metaphor, thankfully. Uh, great, I'm grateful that this was shared with me from Miss Yu in the English department. And the following files can be converted to a class flow lesson. Please select the files you'd like to import. So I've selected that, and I'm going to say continue. You could import more than one file for sure. And the more slides you have, the longer it will take. So this one only has 22 slides only. Um, I've seen ones that are much larger. So then um, I'm going to go to my resources again. And here it is. And it is showing up right here. It's already been translated into a class flow lesson. If you don't see it right away, there's usually like a little circle. It looks like the refresh, it kind of looks like this refresh icon, but it's over here. You can select it and say that you want to convert it and it will convert it into a class flow lesson. So I, I have already uploaded my smart notebook file. It's been converted to a class flow file. And now I'm going to click on Edit Lesson. And then clicking on Edit Lesson pulls it up into a sort of a slideshow style thing, just kind of what you are used to already. You've got all these options here. You can look at it. Uh, what I think is really exciting and dynamic is that right here, you can click on this little four grid thing and click Create Students. So there's what you will see as a teacher and what is pushed out to the students. So you can copy the slides to match, or you can create something different, like maybe what you show on the screen and what they see on their monitors is gonna be different. In another video, I will show you some more of the bells and whistles and features of ClassFlow. So in addition to using the smart notebook files that you've had before, uh, how you can spice those up, make them a little more interactive and more engaging for your students. Also maybe help you get a better glance at how your students are doing because now instead of going up to the board, they'll individually be able to work from their own Chromebook and share out with you uh, their progress on these different slides. And then you can choose which ones to show on the screen if you want to show an exemplary or you can move on and look at those later and they'll be saved for you. So that is a little preview of what we'll be doing next time. But real quick, a quick review. In ClassFlow, you, uh, let's see, I'm going to exit the builder, and I'm going to show you one more time. I've logged into ClassFlow. I click on the Resources tab. Uh, if it's not already here, I'm going to click New, and I'm going to do File Upload and find that file that I want to upload. Once it's over here, uh, I can select it. If it's not automatically converted, there will be a little circle icon that I can convert. And then I hit edit lesson to make any changes or updates. And I would click teacher student if I want to add more dynamic pieces rather than just use the same lesson I've used before. So this is a really easy way to take your smart notebook files, put them into class flow and use those now with the television screen uh, as they're phasing out your smart board. All right, that's all for now. Hope you enjoyed. Thank you.